Hi. My number one advice for anyone who's pregnant right now or planning on becoming pregnant is do the work around fear. Oh, by the way, my name's Haley. I'm a birth doula. I have been a doula for four years and super passionate about birth for six years, five and a half. So I'm here to tell you what my number one thing is to share with people. No matter if you're having a hospital birth or home birth or birth center birth, or if you want to go unmedicated or have an epidural, releasing the fear and unpacking your traumas around birth, even if they're secondary, if you have heard stories from your mom or your friend, it's something that you need to recognize and realize that they are their experiences and they are painted by that person's life and the lens of the things that they've experienced. It's not saying that their experience wasn't hard, but every single, every single experience is new and different. Their hard experience doesn't mean you're going to have one. And the more information that you have, well, it depends on the type of person you are, but generally the more information you have that's true and unbiased information is going to help you feel a little bit more at ease. But no matter what information you have, releasing the fear and the anxieties around birth and what it means to you is going to be your biggest tool. Because even if you're planning on getting an epidural, the epidural isn't immediate. Like you don't get to just be like, oh, I'm having my first contraction. I'm going to go get an epidural. Or sometimes they don't work necessarily. So you need to be able to cope with part, at least part of the intensity because it's not just that every single time it's always 100%. You need to have at least some coping mechanisms. And one of the biggest things that you can do to help support you on that is releasing the fear. And that's what I do. And that's what I plan on helping you. And I will kind of take you through a brief little exercise in this intro video. And in the rest of my videos, I will go deeper into the different ways that we can release fear and move towards embracing birth. So if you have a piece of paper, if you don't have a piece of paper, pause the video, go get a piece of paper. And I want you to write down the important parts of the beliefs about birth that you have. So if when you think about birth, what are the first things that come to your mind? I want you to write those down, pause the video, and really just kind of go through it. You could also listen to the video. Just go through those beliefs and write them down. Don't edit yourself, just flow it out and put it on the paper. And some of these things you might not have even realized, like an episode from Friends. Yes, that counts. Like if you remember, if you think about birth and you think about just the screaming, agonizing pain and everyone else having a baby before Jennifer Aniston's character, whom I can't remember her name right at this particular moment, um, that's a belief about birth. That's something that has shaped your views and your lens about birth. So write all of that down. And when you have that all written down, I want you to notice the ones that are helpful. And I want you to notice the ones that might make your experience a little bit harder. Just appreciate the ones that might make it easier. And look at the rest of them and, re and even the positive ones. Look at all of them and realize that they are someone else's experience. They don't have to be your experience and they are all completely neutral. Some of them might have been really hard to process for that person, but they all are just things that happened. And they haven't happened to you. And every new moment is a new moment. So I want you to kind of just release them. If you want to crumble up the paper, you can crumble up the paper. Uh, if you want to burn it, you can burn it. Uh, if you want to rip it up, that's fine. You want to scribble all over it. Any way that sounds cathartic to you and helps you kind of create a new clean slate so we can work on focusing towards more building a good belief system about birth so you feel confident and excited and ready for your birth experience.